Understanding ATP and how it's an energy carrier is a really important concept in biology. So ATP gets used in a lot of cellular processes basically as a quick transfer of energy from one reaction to the next. Now the one we're going to look at is one that I brought up in photosynthesis. If you haven't had a chance to find out the overview of what this whole diagram you're looking at is, um, I've got a video for that. It'll pop up on the screen here at the end and, and you can click on that and figure out what we're talking about. But I'm going to focus in just on where it says ATP and ADP right here in the center. So I'm zooming into that cycle. This is where we want to make our focus. Now, um, I'm drawing it out in sort of an organic molecule structure, but trying to keep it as simple as possible. The first one we're starting off with here is ADP, adenosine diphosphate. The di is important because you can see we've got two phosphate groups hooked on the end there. That other part is the adenosine part, which in organic chemistry, it tells us the structure of that. We're not going to worry about it for now. The important thing to note is we've got those two phosphate groups hooked on the end. Now, this is low energy. There's very little energy stored up in that, but eventually we're going to turn that ADP into something called ATP. Now, ATP is different because if you saw what just popped up there, that is one more phosphate group. So we go from adenosine diphosphate, which means two, to ATP, which has three phosphates. That last phosphate group on the end there causes this molecule to have high energy. So every time we break that phosphate off, energy is released into the system, and then we need energy to reattach it. So every time we break it off, energy is released, then we need to find some energy to reattach that on and on. So we start off with the ADP, which is low energy. Something has to happen, and in this case, in photosynthesis, this is formed. So this phosphate group is floating around inside the thylakoid. It's already there. But then we need energy from the sun to come in here. And when energy from the sun comes in and it hits the chlorophyll through a series of reactions, it causes that phosphate to get attached to the ADP. Therefore, changing it from ADP, diphosphate, into ATP, triphosphate. Now we've got this high energy. And we can move that on to the next stage in a chemical reaction. And if we break off, or if the plant, through chemical processes, breaks off that phosphate, that energy gets released into the system. That energy can be used for various things. And if you watch the overview of um, photosynthesis, that energy is needed inside the Calvin cycle. And we're going to find out in cellular respiration what goes on inside your body. We have the same things. We have ADP and we have ATP. And that ATP energy is needed for cellular processes in our body, just like it's needed in plants. Now, this cycle just keeps going on and on and on. That phosphate group gets attached, in this case, from sunlight. Um, energy gets attached back on there. It moves to the next system that needs that energy. It breaks off, releases the energy, and this just keeps happening over and over and over. So again, right there in the very center of this whole thing, um, you can see where this ATP and ADP cycle is needed. It's transferring that energy over to the Calvin cycle. Okay, well, we've got a few more things to look at with photosynthesis, including what happens inside the Calvin cycle. But we're getting closer to understanding this whole big picture of how plants make energy out of sunlight, water, and CO2. And then eventually, how we can eat those plants and we do the reverse reaction to get the energy out of the plants. Um, I do have uh, another worksheet. This is a PDF here. You can get it right off the, the link down there or the link at the end and you can use it as needed. I use this in my class. It's a good way to review over and over and over. And um, I've got several other videos. I've got the overview for photosynthesis, got Calvin cycle. You'll find those links all over on this page wherever they end up and then more information down there um, below the video. So good luck. Keep on learning.